All right, y'all, what's up? This is Under the Arch Sports. I'm Eric Hobbs. This video is a little bit different because it's me just being fired up about a hot topic on social media, what fans can do about the Cardinals being garbage. And there's only one thing they can do, and I'm here to explain why Cardinals fans need to stop going to games. Uh, yeah. Uh, bear with me. I'm fired up on this one. Uh, I feel strongly, and the reason is mainly because of how people – disagree with it um there you got people who are saying you're bad fans we don't quit on our team and this that and the other get off your high horse um uh, i mean come on do you think these people who you know you got people 60 70 years old who are saying this you think you're they're throwing away all those years of being a fan because of this team no they're, this is trying to send a message to the front office. This is not anger at the players. Yes, there's frustration with their performance, but this is directed at the front office. I'll tell you what. You have to understand, they, the, the front office, the DeWitts, all them, they're not viewing this as a wins and losses type of operation. It's business to them. Dollars and cents, the bottom line. It's all they care about. So you got to understand, if you have a team with a 20% profit margin that loses 100 games, they view that uh, more favorably than a team that wins 100 games but only has a 10% profit margin, all right? So, you know, get the correct perspective when you're thinking about this. So, fans not going to games, right? You say, Eric, I already bought tickets. Well, so what? Don't go anyway. You're going to save yourself time. You're going to save yourself the frustration of watching a garbage team put on a crappy performance and probably lose. And... If you're going there, you're probably pre-gaming, or if you watch them play, you're definitely going to want a post-game, maybe at Ballpark Village. You, you're going to get concessions. You Maybe go to the team store. All that is money that goes through the front office in the end. If you, haven't, if you haven't got tickets, don't get them. All of this money that does not go to the front office as if fans stop going, every dollar is a message sent to the front office that the fans – are not going to support a garbage team, which is what they've assembled. It is a message, you must do better. If that means firing John Mosellock, do it. If that means selling the team, do it. If that means revamping everything, do it. Because the nonsense we've seen is not good enough. And this goes beyond just this year. Cardinals have not been to the World Series in 10 years, 2013. Every year, they've gotten further and further away from being a World Series contender. Wait, hey, Kong, when was the last time you thought this team might go to the World Series? Aside from the accident of 2019 when they made the LCS, and it felt like an accident to everybody, it's been, what, 2014 was the last time you thought this might be a World Championship team? Come on. For, for a team that prides itself on winning, has a tradition of winning, that's not good enough. Yeah, I think fans are especially pissed when you have all these quotes coming out of the front office from either DeWitt or Mosellock. Mosellock, the most prominent one, you know, calling for patience, going back to the offseason saying, oh, we got, why would we go after pitching? We got six pitchers when he maybe has two. And everybody in the city knew it except for him, apparently. That's the sort of stupidity that – the Cardinals fans are trying to say is not good enough and ain't going to cut it. And we won't support. That's what this is all about. You got DeWitt going off and talking about how owner of baseball team's not very profitable. Oh, by the way, let me go buy Eva Longoria's house. Come on. Read the room. They're not very good at it. They've got an entire fan base that's pissed off. No one's satisfied. And yes, this year is horrendous, but it is it goes beyond this season. I think this season is just kind of a culmination and everything coming to a head. That wholesale changes have to be made. And that could be just as simple as just going out and actually spending money on, say, three pitchers. Or it could be all the way up to firing John Mosellock or even selling the team. Anything. Show commitment to winning World Series. The fans don't want empty promises of, oh, you know, we're going to be really aggressive at the trading deadline here. I think we're going to we're going to sign somebody this offseason and 
well, maybe we really wanted to, but the, the, the asking price was just too much, guys. I, I don't I don't know what to say. You know what? Shut up. We don't care. Fan base wants wins. That's all we care about. Excuses for a decade are not good enough. So all of that is to say that if fans want to influence the way this is going, this franchise is going, stop going to games. Your dollars not going on their bottom line. That's what's going to get the message across. It's a bad look for the best fans in baseball to just straight up abandon the team, right? And all of Major League Baseball would notice that. The front office would notice that. It'd be a humiliation. And they need it. They've earned it. That's all I've got, guys. Stop going to games. See you next time.